All right, let's start this over. All right, here we go. Watching the consolidated Outland Pioneer for the first time, reacting to it live for the first time. The first, the game changer ship that's been so heralded where you can land it on a planet and colonize it all from a ship. I'll see it when I believe it. Uh, I can respect the gold chain. Donning a little respect to WHP. Stars. They've become such a familiar backdrop of our day-to-day -day life that it's easy to forget what they mean. That one. That one's mine. That little dot right there. That's Bremen. This one over here, that's Saul. Think about that. It's all Just good. A handful of these dots represents the breadth of human expansion. Another handful. I get the trash out of it? Why is that? How do we make that go away? A band. Cool. Jean. Extreme. Even Van Dool systems. That's everything we've ever known. Every piece of art, every life ever, right there. And two handfuls of dots. And that means there's so much more to find. Behind every one of those points of life. He's putting a lot of English on this. story waiting to be discovered. Now in our distant past, it was the prominence of governments to explore and understand space. The simple launch took resources and money beyond the capacity of even the largest companies. Putting a lot on this. Then RSI introduced the Zeus, and suddenly regular people were able to explore our solar system. Well, the lore history, that was the first ship that allowed civilians to go to space. When Nick Croshaw discovered the first jump point, the modified scanner array that allowed him to search for jump points were far too expensive for the civilian market. Pretty enthusiastic speaker. But once that technology was refined and open to the public, what happened? That's right. And Era of expansion that led us from this to this. And that's how it's always been. He, this dude, salesman 101. All the great eras of human history. Whenever innovation has put technology in the hands of the people, it has heralded sweeping discoveries. Because power in the hands of many will always exceed the power of few. So while we can now discover new jump points, and systems, there's still one hurdle that remains. That's what to do once you discover a new planet. That's gold. Because right now, only the largest corporations can terraform and establish settlements. What about the little guys, like Easy. us? We haven't simplified terraforming. Yet. No, I, I'm here to announce something equally exciting. Hit me with it. Albert Einstein. The man who redefined human understanding of the universe. Elby. He once said, The person who follows the crowd will usually go no further than the crowd. The person who walks alone is likely to find himself in places no one has ever seen before. I like before. that quote. I see you. Hans? What's this guy's name? Hans? sentiment meant to inspire thinkers and creators to push the boundaries of their understanding. It was, after all, said a thousand years ago, before humanity had left our home world. So clearly he was speaking metaphorically. Today, as I just showed you, the unknown is out there, waiting to be discovered. For those that are looking for those places that no one has seen before, they are faced with a daunting challenge. How do we colonize it? What do you do when you get there? Hans, why don't you tell me how to colonize Until it? now, it's been the province of governments and corporations to pave the way for sustained habitation. The power has been in the hands of the few. But how can we do it? A what guy like I me. offered you the ability to build your own settlement. Let's go. WHP World Headquarters. The most untamed of frontiers. A colony ship in the truest sense of the word. But I'm not talking about just transporting people, no. I'm talking about an all-in-one solution designed to build modular structures based on your needs. Capable of building a farm or a habitat, a trading post or a mining operation. I mean, that'd be crazy, right? Allow me to introduce the Pioneer. 
It's like a freaking carrier. How was that even possible? Einstein invented it. Hans perfected it. That's a sweet looking ship. I just can't believe they're gonna get this in the game. Show me a little bit. Let's see it open up a little bit here, Hans. With that, let the new age of colonization begin. Can, can we see it flex a little bit? You got. You got to give me a. That's you give me it landing. That's what you. Can we see it open up like a flower that's just been nourished? I mean, it's cool. I, I think it's cool in theory. I think a lot of people are gonna say, "All right, cool, let's let's do it." When is it gonna be in the game? I think it's cool, right? Do I want one? Yeah. Am I gonna pay seven fifty for it? Oh, they're all sold out. <laughs> are we live here yet? I mean, 